<laughs> the three <laughs> trendiest letters in college football right now, RPO, but a, a unique layer to the RPO was literally stumbled upon at Utah. Yeah, it was a missed assignment by a wide receiver. <laughs> Hard to believe it's been 16 years since Utah, actually 18 years before Bowling Green when the group of coaches got together. Really, no one was doing it back then. But before we go to RPO, I just want a quick conversation about spread. Mm -hmm. Spread's near and dear to me, and I keep hearing different versions, different definitions. This is what the spread offense is. Spread offense is all about equating numbers in the run game. In the I formation at times, you would run the ball into block, unblocked defenders. You have a tailbelt like that, you don't want guys getting hit. You want to spread the field, create a numbers advantage on offense. And I'm going to give you a little simple sign. You know, spread out here. Come on, my left, Reg. Okay, why not a little bit, Rob? Okay, imagine and visualize you have four wide receivers. Okay, you have a split, a spread set. Okay, with four wide receivers, normally speaking, defenders will take five defenders and cover you four. That leaves four D linemen left and two linebackers, six guys left. On offense, the receivers are gone. I have my five linemen. I'm the quarterback. Reggie's my tailback. Simple numbers are if you have five blockers, six defenders, I turn around and hand the ball off to the tailback, he's going to get hit in the backfield. You can't do that. So how do you do that? You eliminate one defender to equate numbers. So go ahead and be the defensive end for me. Okay? This is spread offense 101. Okay? So I'm going to – we have five blocking five. Five linemen blocking the three down linemen, two backers. I'm going to read you. Like I said, this is spread 101 back in 2000. Set and go. I read you. If you go to the back, I pull it. That's a double option. That's a run, run. Okay? Now let's go back to uh, Utah. Okay? Come to the other side. At Utah, this is the uh, mistake or missed assignment by the H-back that we kind of fell into. So Reggie's going to – you're going to be my defensive end. Reggie's my tailback. You're going to block the outside linebacker, which is Matt Liner. Okay? Once again, here we go. Set and go. You give me a pull read. You're blocking the outside linebacker. I run. That's a run. Run option. Double option. Okay, now, this is – he's got a bad signal. He ran a bubble instead of blocking the man. Alex Smith's my quarterback. Here we go. Set and go. I read you. I get a pull. I think you're going to block the outside linebacker. I start to run. Alex Smith, being the very intelligent player that he is, flips it out there, and he takes off running. I'm standing in the back. Back here, and he's like, what was that play? <laughs> Kyle Winningham, my D coordinator, comes running at me with a script. I said, I've never seen that play before. What is that? And I said, I look at Dan Mullins. I've never seen that either. Do it again. <laughs> that was the evolution wow. of the spread offense. Wow. So let's go back. You'll be the tight end for me, Brady. That's let's awesome. go once again. Spread offense 101. Single option. That's where you have a very good tailback. You don't want to always have the quarterback with a chance to pull. You're going to block the defensive end, set and go. It's a single option. I hand the ball off. Single option. The quarterback, there's zero read. Next one. You're the tight end coming across. You'll influence him, block the walkout. This is double option. The quarterback has two choices, give or pull. Set and go. Boom. Give me a pull read. I get on the hip of the blocker. That's a one option, two option, run to run. Double option. And here's a triple option. You'll see a lot of teams doing this. This is the tight end. Once again, he's going to come across. Now you're going to release in the flat. You have to stay behind the line of scrimmage because the linemen are downfield. I'm going to fake to you here, or I'm going to read you, set and go. I'm reading you. I get a pull read. I start to run. That's one option. Second option is to run. Third option is to flip the ball to the tight end in the flat. That's a triple option. Here's the key. Everybody on the offense is blocking run. Run, pause, Pass option. Right. It's a run play. Five guys blocking, tailbacks expecting the ball, quarterbacks eliminate a defender. The objective of the spread offense is what? Equate numbers mm -hmm. in the run game. Don't get guys like that hit with unblocked defenders. <laughs> and then what happened, the evolution of the game, when you have a quarterback, quarterbacks like this that you don't want to run too much, they've added the throw to it, so it's not exactly <laughs> a If a you run. had these two guys as your QBs, how much RPO might you? This is a maybe. Yeah. That's a no, no chance. chance. No. You, want, you know what? I know all season long, you know what I'm going to be? I'm going to be the walkout Just linebacker. <laughs> Just like this. This is all I'm going to do. Go, out, go into the shadows, It's Matt. fine. It's now, fine. I also recruited very well. When I got something like this, yeah. forget the RPO. I'm Here's handing the ball. Ah! You're a smart man. You're a curious smart to man. see how much Let's RPO go. is running out here. Justin Fields. <laughs> Big Noon Kickoff, August 31st, sponsored by Wendy's on Fox and the Fox Sports app.